Charles T. Matthews of Charles T. Matthews and Associates. We're trial lawyers here in San Marino, but we try cases everywhere, from Anchorage, Alaska to Atlanta, Georgia. I've been blessed over my life to be successful in a number of fields. I started out in college uh, in, in telecommunications, and my first jobs were in television. I won an Emmy, was nominated for a second. Uh, had the opportunity to direct two Academy Award winning actors, Cliff Robertson and John Wayne. Uh, and enjoyed that life. To get there, to be successful at that level, uh, to be in the major leagues of the legal, legal profession, uh, there are a number of keys that are important and those keys translate basically into any enterprise and for any person. The first is preparation. Uh, in order to be successful you have to be ready to be successful. That means doing your homework. Long time ago an old judge who I have the greatest respect for told me that in my business, like in most business, 10% of the people are outstanding. Another 20% are excellent. And after that, the rest, the other 70% range from mediocre to poor. And he said the thing that distinguishes the 20% that are excellent and the 10% who are outstanding from the rest is preparation. I found that to be true. Uh, I never go to trial unless I'm really prepared, unless I've done everything within my power to be ready to be successful. Same thing I find is true in all the clients that I represent, those who are at the top prepared to be ready for success. There used to be a weatherman here in Channel 5, Dr. George Fishbeck, who used to give messages on how to be successful. And one was, in order to be successful in life, you have to double your rate of failure. And there's a lesson to be learned there. You have to be willing to fail because if you're afraid to fail, you're afraid to succeed. An anecdote that I think is of some interest, he got a letter back after he had delivered that little homily in his news program from a woman. Dear Dr. George, we very much enjoy your program and we listen to your messages. For some time now, our, my husband and I have been trying to have children and been unsuccessful. We were very depressed about it till we heard your message about how to succeed by doubling your rate of failure. She said, now I don't know if we're going to have children, but we've doubled our rate of failure and our marriage has never been better. And even though there's a smile to be had from that story, there's some truth there too. Now you can't be uh, uh, distracted by defeats or frustrations. You have to keep going. You cannot give up. If something fails, then back up, take another look at it, try a different approach. Be persistent and don't give up. Uh, and in my business that's exactly true because uh, law is a field where, where it's not really a science, it's much more of an art. And, and you're on the cutting edge sometimes of new laws and, and new opportunities to do good for people. Um, whether you're defending a lawsuit or, or prosecuting one, uh, you have to be willing to try and, and never ever give up. We do some criminal work. And, and I've learned in dealing with people whose lives and sometimes their, their whole futures depend on you, that you have to be resilient and be ready to take on the giants and not be afraid to go into the eyes of danger. Uh, going in harm's way is sometimes the best way to be successful because you're not afraid to succeed. Um, I have many uh, opportunities to interact with people at all levels of business. Uh, in the course of my career I've been a lawyer for companies such as Texaco, Coldwell Banker and Company. I've had the opportunity to take those kinds of entities on in lawsuits where I'm bringing lawsuits against large corporations. Uh, and I have found generally that if you pursue the truth and you pursue justice uh, that eventually if you never give up eventually justice will prevail. Sometimes it takes a lot of work, sometimes it's easy, but usually it requires somebody to dig in and really, really be persistent. That's what I do in every day of my life. Don't always succeed, but I don't ever give up. And that's the key to success.